Hi guys! So guys, as you can tell by that title right there, this is going to be a series about the babies. If you guys do like the idea, please let me know. If you don't, let me know too. Because really, I, I just want to make videos that you guys like. I haven't made a video in like two weeks. Actually, the last video was the video that my sister made for me that surprised. My mind was blown. I was like, what? That sneaky ninja of a sister. How she did that right here in my room without me mind blown. We've chosen the 23rd of July, which is a Wednesday. For the live stream, I think we're gonna try to have it on Twitch, and if they kick us off, I'll just try to set it up here. <laughs> I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there because I've tried to do live streaming on YouTube before and it was just terrible. Maybe I'll just put a video game in the corner and be like, look, guys, there's the background of the Minecraft. I don't even know what to say, <laughs> honestly, about the baby shower topic because I don't want any of you to ever feel like I am trying to use you for anything. Please don't think of the baby shower that way. If you guys would like to send me something, you can. That's all pretty sweet of you, but if you don't want to, please do not feel obligated. I am not asking for anything, but if you do send me something, please you know, don't spend a lot of money on me. You can send me, like, a card, and that would be nice. I like cards or letters. If you just want to write me a letter, I'll put it on my wall. Or really, anything used. You got an old stuffed animal that you don't want, I'll put it in Abigail's room. <laughs> or baby clothes, or really, any diapers. Cheap things cheap things. I don't want, if you're thinking about sending me something, I don't want you to spend a lot of money is basically what I'm saying. I'll leave the link to my P.O. box and a few people asked me to make a baby registry, which I had no idea, but I just followed the Amazon baby registry guide because I don't know what you need for babies, but apparently it's a lot. <laughs> so I'll leave that down there for the people who asked for me. For, for the baby, I can't even talk. I just feel so weird even talking about them. Hey guys, send me some things. Anyways, back to the baby diaries. Yesterday, I went to the doctor's office and it was quite an experience, let me tell you. Okay, I had to go for a glucose test. There's some type of diabetes that you can develop while you are pregnant and every pregnant woman has to take this test. They make you fast for 12 hours and if you don't know what fasting is, it means you can't eat anything. <laughs> Nothing at all. So when I could not eat for 12 hours, I literally thought I was going to starve to death. I don't know how Lori Grimes from The Walking Dead did it. If you guys watch that show, I call BS. I don't think she could have had a healthy baby in those conditions, okay? Dehydration, a dirty environment, very stressful, and, you know, they did not have malnutrition, okay? How the heck did she have a healthy baby in those conditions? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> after 12 hours of fasting, they took my blood, <laughs> which was terrible. Like, my blood was almost pure black. It was the weirdest thing ever. She told me it was because I had deprived myself of eating, and when you do that, your blood tends to be blacker. I don't know if that's actually accurate or if she was just trying to make me feel better and I have some weird blood virus, um, some kind of difference. To, who knows? <laughs> but my blood was black. And then she made me drink this, like, really large sugary drink, which was the most vile thing I have ever drank in my entire life. Let me tell you, okay, it was like this big, and um, it tasted like somebody had poured sugar, just full sugar, into the glass, and then carbonated water, ju just enough of carbonated water to have it dissolve properly. It tasted like I was putting sugars directly into my veins. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was terrible. So not only did I not eat, I had my blood taken, which is supposed to take stuff out. It, it was a large vial of blood taken. Then she had me drink sugar 
And then you're supposed to wait an hour until you can take yet another thing of blood to see if you have diabetes or not. I made it about 40 minutes until I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was sitting in this chair, okay, and I just felt incredibly hot. It was the hottest I've ever felt. <laughs> and I had to look incredible. I know I look pale now. I'm always, I, I'm a pale person, but I can only assume that I look like a piece of paper <laughs> because this nurse walked by and she had this look of like terror on her face. She said, oh my gosh, you're very pale. Do you need some water? And I'm just like, yes, please. I'm gonna die. Is this normal? I just kept saying, is this normal? Is this supposed to happen with this test? Because I thought that I was gonna die. I'm like, they have killed me. <laughs> There's This is the end of Sarah. And while she was gone, I almost fainted. Like, I'm telling you, my vision got incredibly bright. I was like slumping over and these two nurses took me to this room and had me lay down on this bed and elevated my feet and gave me water and put a rag on my head. I don't know what I would have done if they hadn't noticed me. <laughs> then I seriously had the best doctor's office ever. I eventually felt good, but it was a very scary experience. Luckily, I am diabetes free. <laughs> I don't know why my body reacted that way. They said it's because I'm, I'm such a small person and not having eight and then having blood taken and then sugar practically injected into my veins. It was terrifying. Right after that, I had to go to an actual like checkup. They told me that they're not sure if, and I'm not sure if you guys want to hear this, because it's kind of maybe TMI. I don't know. You just tell me if it's TMI and stuff below. But they said that they're not sure if my uterus is growing enough. So... I've got to go back in two weeks and see if my uterus has grown more. And if it hasn't, then I have to have another ultrasound because there could be things going on that are wrong. And if I lost my, my little Abigail now, I just think I'd crawl in a hole and just be like, that's it, world, I'm just going to die. <laughs> it just she means so much to me. Like, when you have a kid one day, you'll understand they your life just ends. You don't have a life anymore. Your whole world revolves around this little thing that you're developing, that you made, that's part of you. I know you guys are so glad you clicked on this video, am I right? It's, yeah, I'll stop talking about the uterus. <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to apologize to you guys in this video because I keep telling you guys that I am going to make all these things and I feel like I'm letting a lot of people down. I really do because I keep promising that I'm going to play these video games and record them and put them online and I keep not doing it. I hate to admit it, but my sister was right in the last video. I have been incredibly sad <laughs> lately and I just don't know how to fix that. So many things are happening in my life. I've been incredibly ill. I'm worried about my baby actually being born. All these things with different insurance that I'm not even going to get into. If you have to go on Obamacare <laughs> for just one month or two, like I did, just be careful because, oh my god, worst insurance ever. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into it, but I, I hate to admit it. I don't want to admit it, but I have been so sad. I just can't, I don't know what to do. So I've been so unmotivated and honestly what I do all day is sleep a lot. <laughs> I sleep a lot, a lot, a lot. Yesterday I think I slept like 12 hours <laughs> and uh, play Final Fantasy. I go around chopping wood. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's, that's what makes me happy in life right now. <laughs> so I just wanted to apologize to everyone for not putting up more videos. I know that a lot of you have been excited and really want to see me play through things and when I, I just 
I don't want to make any promises because I feel like I'm I'm letting you guys down and I hate that feeling. I don't want to let people down. You know, I don't I don't want to promise you something and then fall through, which I that's what I've been doing. Let's just be honest. I have been promising things and not delivering and playing chomping wood. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> so I I I will try to make those videos as soon as I'm feeling better. If you guys have ever felt the way I feel now, just sad and not knowing how to fix yourself, I feel like a broken object and I, I don't have any glue. <laughs> I just don't want to piece myself back together, but I'm just a broken. I'm faulty goods, guys. I'm, I'm just faulty right now. So if you've ever felt those feels, please understand where I'm coming from. I will try my best to get back up to 100% soon. But I just got to be honest with you guys, and I got to be honest with myself. I have just not been me. <laughs> I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please let me know by hitting that like button so I can motivate myself to make another one. We'll talk about all the things. And when Abigail is born, it will change into the Abigail Diaries <laughs> or something. If you guys are interested in that, if, if you just like video games, and you don't like vlogs, please let me know and I will just try to motivate myself to do that again. Please leave me a comment in the section below. It can be about anything, you know, so I can chat with you guys because I'm much better behind a keyboard than behind a camera. <laughs> Social awkwardness. Love you guys. Bye.